So brush your teeth and floss with me. There's so much to learn and see. So come along and smile with me. It's the Kimmy to Tutor Show. That's me. Hi, it's Kimmy the Tutor. And I am here today with my friend Elvis and my friend Toothless. And we're here to read you a book called Do Dinosaurs Have Dentists? It's by Patrick O'Donnell and illustrated by Eric Mellon. And then we have a fun art project to do together later. <clears throat> so did dinosaurs have a dentist? Did dinosaurs have dentists? Did a triceratops use a toothpick? Did a megalosaurus, did a megalosaurus's molars need cleaning? After a prehistoric picnic? Do you think that's how they had a picnic? <clears throat> or do you think that's the H? Did a brachiosaurus ever need braces? Did a camerasaurus ever get a crown? Do you think they would have some bling on the front? I don't know. Maybe. Did a stegosaurus like to floss? Well, that would be good, right? Or did it make him frown? Did a centrosaurus ever get cavities? Probably. Did a Microraptor rinse with mouthwash. It says dino bite mouthwash. <laughs> if a Trianosaurus used toothpaste, would it leave the two balls washed? Probably, I think. Did a Diplodocus ever get dentures? Well, it would make them happy if they could chew things. Did a pterodactyl need fluoride? I don't know. I wonder, did pterodactyls have teeth? Did a baby Bacterosaurus brush long enough? Or did it run and hide? These are questions I think of when Dad says it's time for me to visit our family dentist and get checked for cavities. One time I asked the hygienist and she answered in a blink. Of course dinosaurs didn't have dentists. That's why they're extinct. <clears throat> the end. So in the back of this book, it has all this kind of information about different dinosaurs. It says Triceratops, the plant eater's name means three horned face. It had a really big head with three horns that were about three feet long and a frill, a bony part to protect its neck that could be up to seven feet wide. Wow. Anyway, so it has all of that kind of information about different dinosaurs. I think it's a very cute and fun book. So for our project today, <clears throat> you need a pen, a pencil, a piece of yarn or any kind of string really. Um, you can use googly eyes. I have googly eyes or you can use uh, just a pen. You don't need to googly eyes. Uh, one piece of paper that like white would be the best. I have a yellow piece of paper here, um, but it, it's going to represent a tooth. A little tiny piece of white paper. And I have, I have this, a popsicle stick. Um, you don't need to have a popsicle stick, but if you do, I'll show you what it looks like. So if you have all of these kind of things, you can make this and it says my teeth are happy when I brush and floss so I made um, a toothbrush out of the little piece of white paper and the popsicle stick I'll show you how I did this in one second and then this is the floss okay so this is the finished product so I have a different piece of paper and I wrote you can have a grown-up help you write it my teeth are happy when I brush and floss and so the first thing I did was I traced my hand. You don't want your thumb. You just want your other fingers. Okay. So, see, 
You can also put um, white paint on your hand and squish it down. Um, you can put um, trace your hand just like I did here except on your paper and then put glue on it and put glitter or you can color it in. There are many options here. So if you're doing the tracing thing, you just cut along the lines until you cut out your tooth. I mean, hand tooth. So, here, I'll just do it this way to speed things up. The thing that you need to remember is, <laughs> that does not look like a hand on this side or a tooth. Um, the thing that you need to remember is when you stick it to the paper, normally we would go like this with our hand, but since our fingers are representing the roots of the teeth, we want it to face down. So it would go this way. It would go this way instead. See? So for, you can use just a piece of paper for the toothbrush handle if you'd like. Um, if, if you don't have a popsicle stick. But for the little white piece of paper, you just cut stripes in it. Like stripes? I don't know what word I'm trying to say. Um, you make it look bristly is what you do. And then you can glue. I'm going to make it a little smaller because it looks silly big to me. <clears throat> you can glue this down okay. glue that down and then you can use a piece of paper for the handle or a popsicle stick if you have one there you go there's your toothbrush and then for the floss, I just have a piece of yarn, but you can use whatever string you have around. And I just made a little S with my glue. And there you go. So then when you stick your tooth in there, you have the same picture that I showed you at the beginning. So I, um, we hope that you are well. You can subscribe below and see the other videos that we've made. Or, um, and you can also ask me any dental sort of questions that you have. We'd be happy to answer. Make sure that you brush at least two times a day for two minutes and that you floss once a day and um, take care. We will see you again soon. Bye.